The woman in charge of prosecuting criminals in Travis County was called angry, rude, and belligerent by deputies today. A visiting judge will have to determine if Rosemary Lemberg is capable of serving the public's interest as district attorney after her DWI. Chris Adegui is live at the Travis County Justice Complex with more on day one of testimony. Chris? Shannon, the state says that last April's arrest was not a single incident, but rather a pattern of behavior that shows that Rosemary Lindbergh is not capable of being a d district attorney. But the big topic today was her behavior toward deputies that night. Many will remember the video of Lindbergh restrained and arguing with those deputies at the jail and at the scene where she was arrested. Those deputies said she made threats towards them, and they actually wondered if her position as DA would allow her to make good on those threats and hurt their careers. A couple of drivers who saw her car swerving erratically also took the stand. Mark Weston took the stand and said he was afraid someone would be hurt, and when officers arrived where Lindbergh was stopped, he saw the beginning of the defiance. I, I didn't hear any of the dialogue between her and the deputies. Um, I just saw an initial kind of a shaking of the fist and them putting a stop to that very quickly. And during her time at a treatment facility in Arizona, Lindbergh told a psychiatrist she would regularly have three beer or wine drinks about every other day. But that same psychiatrist testified that Lindbergh's prognosis for success and recovery are excellent. We're live downtown tonight. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. All right, Kristen, going in depth now, this case could have major implications throughout Travis County and the state. If the judge determines Rosemary Lemberg should be fired as district attorney, that position would be filled by Governor Perry. The Travis County district attorney is the most powerful in the state because the office holds the public integrity unit. Republicans have been critical because for decades only Democrats held the DA office.